My name is Catherine. I'm the owner of CatherineFashionFinds.com, located in Ventura, California. We're a recycled, unique clothing company that saves you a lot of money and a lot of time looking for really amazing pieces of clothing to wear. We also have a Catherine's Fashion Finds store on eBay and on Poshmark. So if you Google Catherine's Fashion Finds eBay, Catherine's Fashion Finds Poshmark, you'll find those stores as well. And I'm here today to go over some items that are going to be newly listed in our store this week. Some of the items go into all three locations, but I spend more time listing at CatherineSpassionFinds.com. And the reason I do that is because eBay and Poshmark, they take money out of your pocket. So I've invested some time, money, and energy into my new business, but I still work on the other platforms as well. So I'm going to go over some items with you today that are going to be listed shortly, and here we go. I have a ton of pants. So I'm going to start with some pants today, and let me see. These right here, they're civilian air jeans. They're in really good condition. They're faded out. They are a size, sorry, they're from 2009, they're a size 25. They're super cute. They're expensive when you find them brand new. And they're like brand new. They have, this is the, one of their styles, they have the cutout that's stitched in on the bottom. They're just really cute. These, they are a one size. I don't know who makes them. They're 100% rayon. They tie on the sides. They're open slip. They're tie dye. Perfect for meditating. Perfect for the beach. They tighten up. They loosen. So they're definitely adjustable. They have very wide legs. Very bohemian. Very relaxing. Great on a vacation island. Day at the beach. Whatever it is. Even a day at home, just relaxing. These are Gap. They're 29, eight regular. They're vintage slim mid-rise. They're a nice gray color. They look like a high rise to me, but maybe because they are vintage, maybe back in the day, that's what they considered mid-rise. Anyways, they're in great, excellent condition. No flares, no damage, no anything. And these, I've never even heard of this company. It's MNM1. They're 100% cotton. They're a size 34. I'm not even sure if they're men and women's, but when I investigate on them, I'll find out. They're just really cool and unique. They look like a high rise. Almost like um, if a woman were to wear it, it would be like a boyfriend fit. But they've got different patterns and they're distressed. But you can cut some of the distress off if you want or just leave it as is and they're different color patchwork. These right here are a pair of Hudson. They're a size 25. They're like a red with a tannish color floral print. They're skinny jeans. They're a super skinny ankle jean. The inseam on them is 28. They're in brand new mint condition. I don't even think they've been worn. And we have another pair of Hudson jeans. They're gray. They're also a size 24. They look like a skinny ankle as well. In excellent condition. I believe these are Spanx. Camo Spanx. Let me see about that. No, I'm sorry. They're Yes, they're assets. Maybe they're assets by Spanx. Anyway, same concept. Very tight, very form fitting. And the size of these are a medium. These are vintage, I just had to have them. I think somebody bleaches, but they could have came this way. They have heart tie-dye pattern on the front and the back. 
their Ooh La La Sassoon. If any of you girls or boys remember these from back in junior high school days, if you're as old as I am. <laughs> they're a bootcut boogie is what they're called. They're really cute. They got the vintage Sassoon pockets, the logo, got little hearts on them. And they're pretty big, super cozy. If you belt them or if you're um, the size again, I'm sorry. Anyways, I don't see the size right now, but they'll be measured in the photos. But they're really cute. Yeah, I've never seen a pair of pants like this before. I just thought they were really cool. They're called PIC, picture. They're designed in France, uh, made in an ethnic factory in China, whatever that means. But anyways, they're really cute. They're like stretch pants. They're a picture of a city down there. If anybody could tell me what city this is. Um, I have an idea, I know what it is. <laughs> Anyways, back pockets. There's no front pockets. They're just very unique. And I did do a little Google research on these to see if they are worth picking up. They're very high, hard to come by and they're pretty expensive. Okay, just a few more pairs of pants. This right here is Iris Barnum. They're super cute. I remember these were worth quite a bit. They're pink. They're kind of in style right now. They're the wide leg. They look like a high rise to me. They are size 36, 55% linen and 45% viscose. The back pockets are fake, but the hand pockets are real. They're in excellent condition. They're just really cute, comfortable pants. These are some workout pants. They are by Black Milk. They're made in Australia. They're a size large and they're a peacock print. They look like they have never ever been worn and they feel like they've never been washed, so I'm assuming they're brand new without tags. If you like a peacock, they're really cute. Okay, then we have, these are Express. They gotta be, I love Express. I used to buy Express all the time. They're cotton spandex, they're pink. They're from 2018 line. And they're the editor pants. And size tag, size zero. They look like they're a crop wide leg. And they're just really cute. They do have a button here, it's just not buttoned, so there's no nothing wrong with these pants. Okay, and for the last pair of pants I'm gonna talk about today, they're another rag and bone. They're called Standard Issue Skinny Leg. They're distressed, they have a little bit of hole in them. They're, again, they fit like, they look like a relaxed fit. Standard Issue Fit Skinny Leg, and they're a size 33. So you can probably belt them if they find they're too big, or if they fit you, they'll probably look excellent on anybody no matter the size, because like I said, right now the style's baggy or also fitted. Okay, this right here, it's made by Ralph Lauren. It's a size six. No, I'm sorry, hold on. <laughs> yes, a size six, it looked like an eight for a minute. It's just a really nice dress to wear out to a fancy occasion. It is a pullover dress. It's long, it's cinched on the side. It's like a very pretty, gold color with a silver shimmer to it. And the fabric is way down there somewhere. I'm not sure it's lined. It's just really pretty. Very glamorous. This dress, I would have kept it. Unfortunately, I'm a perfect size medium and it's just a little tight around my arms. It has no size tags on it. I just think it's gorgeous. All my friends will come over and see it on my rack. When I have it out, as I haven't listed it yet, I keep hoping I'm gonna fit into it. But I think my body's just a little too wide for it no matter what. So it's probably like a size small, maybe medium if you're not as thick as around the, that part as me. It's just a really pretty maxi dress. Reminds me of a safari, just gorgeous. 
And I think it's like a linen blend is what it feels like, maybe rayon linen. Okay, and here we have a J. Jill Love Linen, 100% linen, extra small. Just a little baby doll pullover. It's got a back eyelet to let you in and out easier. It's just really cute. Lightweight, perfect for spring coming up. Easter, dinner, whatever. This is Guess, it's a size four. You can't find it anywhere. As far as I know, everywhere I've looked, I've seen it, it's sold out. It retailed for over 150 bucks when it was new and used because you can't find it. This dress is in perfect condition. It's very pretty. It's very bohemian, a prairie girl, whatever. Um, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I have a feeling one of my regular customers at CatherineFashionFinds.com. If you watch me, I know who, you might know who I'm talking about. Um, she's great. She comes back and buys multiple pieces. Just looks like something that she would buy. Sure. Okay, now we have this J. Jill again. It's an extra small. It's just a really pretty, thin, very classy sweater. Kind of reminded me of Burberry. That's why I picked it up, even though it's not the right colors. But it's gorgeous, and you could dress it up or you can wear it casual. And it's lightweight, very nice. And then this is SR Fashion, made in India. Just a really pretty tunic top gray, kind of clinched looking, um, very pretty sleeves, nice details. Would probably look great with some black stretch pants and some awesome boots or something. This right here has a couple of buzzes on it, but they're not spots. Okay. This is a shirt that I wasn't sure about picking up until I did a search on it. It's by A-N-I-M-A-L-E. It's a size medium. What's funny is I found the matching jacket the other day. It's a very pale pink. It feels like a suede chamois almost, but not as stiff. It's pretty soft. It's got a really pretty opening back, high up on the neck. It's got a little linen on it, but that's it. It's in really nice condition. It's really pretty. The rainbow sweatshirt. I think in the 80s, everybody had one when I was growing up. It says it's by M, whatever that means. It's um, oh, size medium. <laughs> I guess it's just a no name. Country something, I can't read it. Size medium. It's a blend of cotton, polyester, and algodon. It's just a rainbow sweatshirt. I did just notice it has a little something on the back on the orange stripe can't really see it but maybe i can clean it up if not it's just going to be sold like that anyways it's really pretty otherwise than that it's in really nice condition very loose and flowy super cute and this right here it's an extra small free people jacket denim it's light denim i noticed a small flaw yesterday it has like a little doesn't call the way through, but those two little markings, it looks like somebody pulled the tag out and just pulled it through or something, but it didn't go all the way through. So kind of reminds me of something you would see Madonna wearing back in the eighties. It's really cute. Extra small, free people. And I have a lot of free people, a lot. So if you're into free people, check it out. Catherine'sFashionPoints.com. I have a lot of scarves being listed. I'm into dogs. I love animals of all kinds. Just a cute little dog scarf. It looks like a lab or something. There's little dogs on it too, actually. A little chihuahua, a little dachshund. It's purple. For some reason right now, everybody's into purple. My scarves on my website are in really, um, really great prices. So I suggest you check out my accessories as well. And I have so much more coming. Okay, this right here, it's Ebb and Flow. It's just a really cute, it says embrace your Buddha, ebb and flow. It is a black wife beater style tank top. It's 100% cotton, made in the USA, size medium. It's got the little Buddha there with the beautiful like Hawaiian looking flower, beautiful. 
And then we have a Marc Jacobs, size four. Actually, one of my clients was getting rid of stuff and I scored on this one. So thank you, Jan. Uh, Marc Jacobs, size four, white mini skirt. Very nice, excellent condition. Okay, this I just thought was really cute. It's an official Barbie, but it's Forever 21. It's just a little crop top. Crop tops are in style right now. Figured it'd be kind of cool for someone to wear to a festival. I know that um, there's so many festivals coming up finally. So just a cute little Barbie tank top. Okay, Sticks, one of my favorite bands. Paradise Theater, one of my favorite albums. Back in the day, I think I've seen them so many times. There's a fair in Ventura and they come here and play every couple of years and hopefully they come this year because I haven't seen Sticks for a few years. So hopefully they come back soon. It's just a black Sticks t-shirt, American classic size small, 100% cotton. Sticks the band. Okay, just a couple t-shirts today. Um, this is just kind of a cute Volcom. I like Volcom. It's a large, I would say a woman's large. It has kites on it and a little skeleton body there with the kite head. It's just cute. And I love this too. It's a Seste Golden, the Golden Girls. It's a women's goodie two sleeves, size large, 100% cotton. Golden Girls. For anybody that loved that show, it's like in a, uh, I wouldn't say mustard yellow, but like an orange, orange yellow. Very cute. We're gonna do a couple athletic pieces and then I'm gonna do some, just some really cute shirts. Okay, this right here is made by Canary, made in USA. It's a size large, hot pink and black cycling jersey. Um, it's from a bomb hair salon. So for like any woman that cycles, that wants to be seen on the road, that likes pink and black, and maybe as a hairstylist, this would be such a great thing. It has a picture of a bomb on the front like you're the bomb. So here you go. It's in excellent condition. I was almost gonna keep it myself, but I have so many, I don't really need another one. <laughs> Anyways, this is a jacket that I've sold. It's a very thin, lightweight, sheer like windbreaker. It's by Zella, it's a size large. I have sold this three times already. So I have another one. It's just cinched on the bottom. There's nothing wrong with it. Just a cool windbreaker. It's in like a camo, it's sheer. It um, has a three quarter zip and a hood. And this, I got scored. Never even heard of this brand. It's just really pretty. I don't see any damage. It's a polar fleece for a skiing. Um, they're very, very expensive. I was in shock how expensive this is. Um, it's Helly Hansen, and I would assume it's a size small. The tag is faded. It's in excellent condition besides that. There's like a one or two discoloring spots, but you really, really can't see unless somebody's just been staring at you. And actually, they might even be little, just little balls. Super cute. If you ever see this name thrifting, I'd pick it up and look at it. Okay, a few basics, and then we are free for the day. <laughs> Anyways, this is just a basic. It's in touch, made in the USA. It's an open back, white tank top. It's on the hanger inside out, but you get the gist of it. Super cute, just basic, especially for the summertime. Just another white basic. It's got a little fringe hem. It's by Cloth and Stone, size small. Kind of lays right above your hips. A little, it's got a short opening in the back with buttons and just very pretty. Okay, this I think this is gorgeous. It's a J. Crew size small, it's just so cool for some little office worker, somebody that just likes to look really cute. It would probably look great with some khakis and whatever kind of shoes, just really cute. Jeans, even and some flats. Okay, this is another J. Crew. It's super soft, by the way. So is the one I just showed you. 
This is also a size small and almost looks to me like they came from the same person. It buttons in the back to keep the closure and then it's just a really cute, it's got a little weird color, super cute. It's like a cream color in gray. Very, very soft, very lightweight. This I had to buy. <laughs> I thought it was great. I agree with it, by the way. It's the She Show, size medium. I might have to keep this. If you can't read that from whatever angle you're at right now, it says 2020, total crap. Would not recommend with a five star reading and it got a one star. Perfect. I don't even know how it got one star, but I guess it did because we're all breathing still. Most of us are, thank God. Okay, so then we have this really unique Bowden sweater. It's a US size 10, UK size 14. It's so pretty, it's kind of um, sparkly. It's got like, um, what do you call it, not sequins. Um, I can't think right now, but the little stuff you put on tinsel from your Christmas tree, it looks like there's tinsel in there. It's purple, aqua, and like a tan color. It's got button closure on one side of the sleeve. It's a pullover. It's really cute. Okay, and this I just bought for fun. It's by 88, it's a size medium. I have a lot of friends that are into tie-dye and aliens. Just got this cool little alien dude on it, or chick, whatever you want to call it, person. And it's just a really pretty pastel-y color. And yeah, I, might, I was thinking of keeping it, but you know, again, I have so much stuff. Okay, and I love Selena. I don't know who doesn't, but anyways, she was an amazing person. I watched her movie probably 20 times. I don't know what the shirt's worth or care. I just wanted it because Selena is just amazing. I feel bad for what happened to her. So anybody that likes Selena, this will be listed soon. It smells really good too. So I have so much more stuff coming and to show you, but um, today I'm gonna stop right here and I just appreciate your time again watching your my video. And please take a look at KatherineSfashionFinds.com. I'm sure you will find something that you like or somebody you love will. Thank you again, and we'll see you next week. Have a great day.